Hey, what's going on Upstate Speed Test? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Apple Lake in New York. I'll try to put a map up on the screen to show you guys exactly where we are. But more or less, it's in between Vestal, New York and Owego, New York. So AKA, we're basically in the middle of nowhere. I got my uh, trusty iPhone 15 Pro Max here. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna test a brand new Verizon Monopole. It was built a little over a year ago. I'm, I'm working off memory here, so don't quote me on any of this. But uh, basically the poll went up about a year ago and like five to six months ago, maybe slightly less, the service has finally come online. And if you're looking at the map between Appalachian and Owego, uh, this area that the new monopole is in was more or less a coverage black hole for Verizon. You could get service up on the highway, but it would dip real low, calls would get scratchy and drop, and, and data was hit or miss. Now that this monopole is online, we have ultra wideband and it performs really well out here. In fact, it performs a little bit better than it does out in town. So what I'll do is I'll take you guys up to the tower and we'll check it out. We'll see uh, what the new build looks like up there. And then we'll, of course, we'll test it. So before we get going, two things. One is super easy. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the next couple months are over. And the second thing is check out the video sponsor Circled In. Circled In will help you get a good deal on your wireless plan and all the features of a postpaid account without having to set one up on yourself. That link will be down in the description as well. So yeah, let's go check it out, guys. So first we'll test Verizon, then we'll test AT&T for comparison and T-Mobile for comparison. Before this uh, site went live, this was almost a total dead spot for Verizon. There were areas you could get service, but not nearly as impressive as this. And if you go down the road just slightly further, you can hit 600 uh, down, maybe a little bit more. So we got 496 on the down, 71 for the unloaded. The loaded ping times are great, comparable to T-Mobile when you have good service with them. Upload's good, jitter at seven. Uh, let's run it one more time since this is the main point of the video here. And we'll see what we get. It's got a 76 millisecond ping that time. And it looks like we might break 500. Yep. We're over 500. All in all, pretty impressive uh, performance from Verizon. Pretty impressive performance from this brand new monopole. Jitter at 10 milliseconds. Wow, I just realized my screen's got a lot of dust on it. I did have to drive through some very sketchy roads to get that drone footage for you guys. Uh, anyway, let's switch over to AT&T and see uh, what happens. Not expecting much from them. Before we do, though, give a big shout out to our channel's uh, video sponsor, Circled In. Circledin.com will help you get a great deal on a wireless plan without having to make compromises. Today's video is brought to you by Circled In. Circledin.com lets you split the cost of a wireless family plan from major providers like Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, and even from prepaid providers like Cricket or Google Fi. And now they've even added the capability for you to split the cost of a streaming service from places like Netflix, HBO, Hulu. Check them out at circledin.com. Thank you again for supporting the channel. Welcome back. We are connected to AT&T Business, as my finger tries to find the screen. And uh, AT&T Business, of course, slightly higher priority than consumer. And if this test fails, we're not even going to bother running consumer. Because uh, again, AT&T, there's no service anywhere, uh, no tower near here that I can think of. We're in Appalachian, New York, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning. So... 
Uh, we're kind of between Owego and Vestal, New York. So there's not a whole lot going on out here. All right, well, there we go. So actually, this will be a good test. It'll be AT&T at the edge of cell. And uh, we're getting pretty bad download speeds, though. Four point something it's going to finish at here. Ping time is okay. It's 81. It's not fantastic. It's nothing to write home about. The loaded ping on the download has failed to materialize. The upload looks like it's also going to fail. Or be barely there. Jitter at 9 milliseconds. And, uh, yeah, so if this is this bad, let's see what, uh, let's see what AT&T Consumer looks like. I'll switch to that, and we've got AT&T Consumer fired up now. AT&T Consumer, slightly lower priority than business. And, of course, as a lot of you have pointed out, AT&T has recently downgraded almost all of their plans in terms of priority. And it looks like they're actually going to be selling the priority back to you in the form of something called a turbo boost feature, or something along those lines. I don't know. Just another way to get more money. But who's counting? One eternity later. We'll give it one more shot since the business side uh, actually worked. But again, not, uh, not feeling great about this test. Once this is over, we'll switch over to T-Mobile and give them a shot. While we wait for that to load, I mean, I don't know where you guys are, but where I'm at, it's freaking gorgeous today. Clear, crystal clear blue skies, warm-ish, it's like 60 degrees, 61. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking uh, AT&T Consumer is a major thumbs down, at least here in this location, obviously. Let me, uh, let me switch over to T-Mobile, and we'll see what they do out here. Oh, there it goes. I guess the key here is to bash it. Bash it, and then it'll start working. Oof. Wow. Those are some of the worst ping times I've seen on any test anywhere. So, uh, clearly... The consumer side in a low signal situation is getting nerfed much harder than the business side. Sorry if there's a lot of traffic noise. There weren't many, there weren't really, oh, and there it goes, it failed. There weren't really many great places to pull over here. Uh, as you can see, it's very desolate out in this direction. Let me switch over to T-Mobile yeah, Magenta, right fired up and ready to go. It's looking much more promising than AT&T. I believe T-Mobile has a site across the river somewhere, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on the other side, you know, for kicks. Uh, for a minute it flashed UC, but then it disappeared, so we're, we're stuck on low band here. We've got uh, 51 milliseconds for the ping, which is fine. The loaded ping times are kind of in the eh range. Uh, oh, just kidding, the upload one's pretty terrible. Jitter at 10, which is okay, I guess. Uh, 2.5 for the up and 26.9 for the down. We'll be fair to T-Mobile, just like the other two. We'll give them one more chance. They're living on a prayer. Anyway, uh, 54 milliseconds that time for the unloaded ping. The loaded ping times are again in the myth range and the jitter at 7 milliseconds. And the download looks like it's a little bit better this time. And let's see what happens with the upload. 2.4, oh, and then it disappeared. Looks like we're going to finish just around 2 for the upload. Alright guys, well, thanks for joining us here in Apple Lake in New York for a brand new Verizon build. Be sure to give the video a big old thumbs up, and uh, oh, look at those pretty Amish, I assume they're Amish hutches, or hutches, wow, what am I saying, Amish sheds? Anyway, uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, and uh, yeah, that's the main thing, guys. If you're not subscribed, help me out, hit that button, it's free, it only takes a second, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.